John. Do you wonder what heaven looks like? What an amazing experience it would be to be able to see inside the throne room of God and witness what is going on in heaven. John is granted the opportunity, and he relates to us what he observed during his time there. Revelation chapter 4 verses 1 to 3 After this I looked, and behold a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice which I had heard, like the sound of a war trumpet speaking with me, said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after these things. At once I was in special communication with the Spirit, and behold a throne stood in heaven, with one seated on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardius stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. We read, And behold, a throne. The throne is the focal point of this vision, as it was what first impressed John. Everything else is described in relation to the occupied throne which was the focal point of John's attention. We read, And one sat on the throne. There is no empty throne. There is some one who sits on this great heavenly throne. The throne is a strong declaration of not merely God's presence, but of his sovereign rightful reign and his prerogative to judge. Rather than defining a precise form or figure, John explained emanations of glistening light in two colors. White, jasper may mean diamond, and red, sardius. Revelation chapter 4 verses 4 through 6. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment. And they had on their heads crowns of gold, and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne, and round about the throne, were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. We read, Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, before the elders caught John's eye, he'd noticed the twenty-four thrones they sat on. Around the throne, twenty-four elders sat on lesser thrones. What is the role of these twenty-four elders? There is a debate among commentators as to whether they are glorified human beings or angelic creatures. God's people certainly seem to be represented by the elders when all things are considered. Impressive and fearful sights at the throne of God. We read, And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. The lightning, thunder, voices, and fire are reminiscent of God's fearful presence at Mount Sinai. They transmit the wonder associated with the throne of God. Revelation chapter 4 verses 7 through 8. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf. And the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. The four living creatures are difficult to identify. All we know for certain is that they are created beings because they worship God. They appear to be a cross between the cherubim of Ezekiel 10 and the seraphim of Isaiah 6. Verse 7 depicts cherubim and verse 8 depicts seraphim. The cherubim appear to be associated with burning judgment whereas the seraphim appear to be associated with burning purification. The living creatures never stop singing about God's holiness and eternity. The word holy appears nine times in most manuscripts. Revelation chapter 4 verses 9 through 10. 
And when those beasts give glory and honor, and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth for ever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne, and worship him that liveth for ever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Whenever the living creatures worship the Eternal One on the throne, the twenty-four elders prostrate themselves, worship the Eternal God, and cast their crowns before the throne. Whenever the living creatures give glory, the twenty-four elders fall down before Him. Knowing angels worship God should inspire our worship as well. Why should we be less thankful or praiseful to Him? Do we sing as much as the birds do? We read, For you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. As a result of God's creative power and glory, the twenty-four elders worshipped Him. The fact that God is Creator gives Him all right and every claim over everything, even as a potter has all rights and claims over the clay. Romans chapter 9 verse 21 Does the potter not have the right over the clay to make from the same lump of clay one object for honorable use, something beautiful or distinctive, and another for common use, something ordinary or menial? Revelation chapter 4 verse 11 Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Their worship acknowledges the Lord as worthy of glory and honor and power, because he created all things, and by his will they exist. The vision prepares us for what is to follow. God is seen as the almighty ruler of the universe sitting on the throne of his glory, surrounded by worshiping creatures, and about to send judgment on the earth. The Throne Room The picture of God's throne appears several times throughout this chapter. The throne is mentioned twelve times, not counting the twenty-four thrones that are also mentioned. Twelve times we read about the throne and one sitting on that throne. The focus is on God's throne. In verse 2, we see that the throne has been established amid heaven and that one is seated on it. This is a respectful statement, not naming who sits on the throne, because the Almighty God sits on the throne. Vivid colors are used to describe the throne room and the one who sits on the throne. Not only is there a rainbow around the throne, but there are also 24 thrones. Seated on those 24 thrones are 24 elders, dressed in white with gold crowns on their heads. We're left wondering who the 24 elders are and what they stand for. Flashes of lightning, rumblings, and thunderclaps emanate from the throne. The throne and the person who sits on it are depicted as being very active. The Lord is not dozing off on the throne. There is movement. The reader is being prepared for the outpouring of God's wrath. In Revelation chapter 8, verse 5, we observe that the lightning, rumblings, and peals of thunder that symbolize judgment come from God's throne as He sends forth His judgments. This language also brings to mind the thunder and lightning that occurred at Mount Sinai when God visited there. However, John is not the only man in the Word of God to witness this.